Hello everyone, welcome to Life Around Science. This is Swarnim, IIT Jam Air 1 in Physics. And today's video is about the books that I referred during my BSc, which helped me clear JAM exam. Not just JAM, all other exams like JES, TFR, INAT, and many others. If you are new here, new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more such videos. We've been getting a lot of questions related to JAM, asking how did I study for JAM? How can you study for JAM? Which books to refer regarding coaching classes? etc etc most of these questions have been answered in my interview whose link i'll put in the description for those who are new here i guess it's time to make more detailed video on these as we have now gathered quite a few subscribers by now you may comment below if you want us to make any specific videos and we might consider making some along those lines in the future make sure you share this with your friends in your bsc and anyone who is preparing for jam or any other entrance exam as it might help them too if this video reaches to more number of people, especially those who are studying physics or are appearing for entrance exam, it would give us more motivation to make other videos like how I studied for JAM, how my sister studied for JAM, how was our journey during our BSc, how can you study or plan for JAM or any other exam, etc. So make sure you share this with your friends. As I said in the interview, I didn't really prepare specifically for JAM. And so as you find out, the books are very general physics books but they eventually helped me clear all the entrance exams. Although there is one specific book which I'll show, which I used specifically for JAM, you'll find out more about it. As I'm going through, I'll also tell which are the books that I strongly recommend and I found really helpful and everyone should know about it. So let's get started. So the first book is Concepts of Physics by H.C. Verma. There are two volumes of it. This is the volume one. This I had bought uh, after my 12th standard. When I was in Ferguson, most of the students were preparing for JE or uh, JE mains or advanced, if not for medical. And that's where I found out about this book because everyone was referring to this book for their physics preparation. So I bought this after my 12th standard because I wanted to understand physics. And this is a book which made, made me like physics even more and motivated me. So, these are all the topics that are usually covered in 11th and 12th standard, which are covered. This is just the volume one. And since I wanted to get my basics good, I had bought this book and I also enjoyed the way it was written. So I ended up reading all of it and also solving the problems in it. So this was after my 12th standard. So as you can see, so there are solved examples, a lot of solved examples. Then there are short answer questions, objective questions, obje objective to multiple select questions and some exercises. So at that time I went through all of this and helped me a lot. So, so there's the volume 2. It covers different topics, the other topics like thermodynamics and uh, electromagnetism and modern physics. The first book covers mechanics fixed sounds oscillations etc so these also cover topics uh, like nuclear physics special relativity which are bsc oriented this book helped me gain motivation in physics and i started liking physics even more the next book which i refer to or used is this question bank by arihant g for me j mains and advanced as you can see these are j books and have nothing to do with jam and i bought all of these after the JE exam was over. I didn't even give JE exam, but I just wanted to learn physics as everyone was doing it. So I happened to buy these. These are just questions. As you can see, there's mechanics, optics and waves, electrodynamics, semiconductors. And this book, I would say helped me in problem solving because there is a variety of questions and it also helps you solidify uh, your concepts. Like there is one correct option questions then there is assertion reason type questions and there is again this for j advanced then multiple select questions comprehension type questions matching the follow match the following integer type questions and so on so this book although it's full of problem the font is good and there are a lot of figures and when you get solving it becomes very interesting so this is another book which is actually of the level of 11th and 12th standard so 
I happen to solve all these questions as you can see they're all tick marks over here so this is this is what I was doing when I was in my first year another book that I used in my first year was Rodo although this is a very small book I have already made a flip through of this book I'll put the link in the description uh, these are pretty tough questions and this is full of questions as you saw this book also had solutions to the questions for the for Erodov you have another book for solutions you can buy them separately and it covers mechanics thermodynamics electrodynamics oscillations optics nuclear physics and I started solving this when I was in my first year I almost completed the mechanics section there's thermodynamics I solved I guess half of it solved a bit of electrodynamics and then I think that was it I stopped after that so this is what I was solving in my first year again so these three books although they are majorly 11th and 12th standard oriented and J oriented they helped me in understanding the basics basic concepts which eventually helped me understand the advanced concepts and I can assure you that only on the basis of these concepts uh, which are not really advanced 11th and 12th you can score more than 40 or 45 marks in JAM just on the basis of this if you do them very thoroughly you can even uh, score more than 50 marks in JAM exam next book you have is Mary L. Bose Mathematical Methods in Physics this book was recommended to me by my sister uh, the usual recommended books would be like HK Das, Afghan Weber and International Standard Riley Hobson Benz but when I came across this book as you can see it belongs to my sister when I came up across this book I, I read a bit and I've been using this same book since then even in my MSc this book is very beautifully written and it is one of the books that I would strongly recommend I would have regretted if I didn't know about this book back then I have had friends in my MSc saying that who found out about this book in their MSc saying that they wish they knew uh, about this book when they were in BSc this covers all the mathematical as aspects that you need in physics and it makes sure that it connects with the physics problems as you can see applications to diagonalization when I was in BSc I used to hear a lot of diagonalization I used to attend seminars uh, about research and they used to use diagonalization every now and then I, I used to wonder what is it all about and this is the book where I read it from it gives you all the background and also how to solve problems this is related to eigenmodes of oscillations the normal modes that we see so I remember this I have not read uh, this continuously but I have read more than half of it in bits and parts at different points in my uh, during my BSc when I was learning different topics as and when they, they were introduced in the syllabus and I ended up reading more than half of it I have even referred to this in my MSc so if you can buy one book related to mathematics I would say this is the best buy according to me you have advanced topics like tensor analysis which is actually an MSc topic and so on so I read I read about this when series were taught in my maths course I read complex numbers when they were in my physics course I had attended a linear algebra camp in uh, one of the summers there I uh, read this linear algebra chapter I remember me reading this partial differentiation and multiple integrals when I was going to IIT camp uh, organized by Professor H.C. Verma at IIT Kanpur so I was reading this back then this I had read out of my own interest Fourier series I remember reading calculus of variations when we were studying classical mechanics the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics this tensor analysis I read in MSc these are special functions um, complex analysis partial differentiation we had an, another subject completely another subject on statistics so I didn't have to read through this because we had studied it in mo much more details so this is mathematical methods in physical sciences the next book is uh, electrodynamics by B.J. Griffiths so this book is a unanimous choice all over the world for electrodynamics there is no confusion if, if you go over the internet you will see everyone recommending, recommending this book and I remember I started reading through it when 
we had our electrodynamics course in bsc and i went on reading it like a normal book as as and when the course was proceeding i just used to read the corresponding uh, chapters or the parts from this book and i went through vector analysis all these up to chapter 7 skip conservation laws and electromagnetic uh, and jump to electron magnetism so first seven chapters vector analysis electrostatics potential electric fields in matter magnetostatics magnetic fields in matter electrodynamics and electromagnetic waves the other topics are msc related and this is a very well written book one of the best books written dj griffiths is known for that while you are reading you feel like there is someone sitting beside you and explaining you the concepts and I would, I would point out that I nowhere did I solve any questions uh, from the exercises. Uh, if you are wondering whether I went through the questions too, I didn't go through the questions. It was just for the concepts and same for this book. But I went on reading it. You find this useful in MSc two. So yeah, so this is Griffiths. So this is another book that I strongly recommend. There is no uh, confusion about it. Um, so another book which I actually missed out in the interview is. Concepts of Modern Physics by Arthur Bizer. I remember I had it issued from the library during my BSc, and I refer to it starting from my first year till my third year for modern physics for a variety of topics. And it is another book that I strongly recommend. It is a very well written book. For optics, I remember using Brijlal and Subramanian and Avdhanlu, but I just refer to two to three topics through that. Then for solid state physics, our teacher had recommended Ali Omar. and m a wahab and i had referred to those as the instructor had recommended for electronics i had a complete uh, a different subject as electronics which was taught by electronics department itself and the reference book was malvino leach and malvino bates these are the books that i happened to refer because they were uh, suggested by the instructors but i have already shown you the books that i strongly recommend then for thermodynamics i had used f rife which was the international standard but it was difficult to read through and it was not the concepts were not easy to grasp through it for classical mechanics i used variety of books i remember i used to keep changing books for classical mechanics until i found uh, the concept which i actually needed and which actually sorted my questions and one of the book that i referred to was ds mathur which also helped me in lab course and finally for uh, special theory of relativity i remember i used robert resnick and again i used it as a novel book just like griffiths i went on reading uh, through it without the problems uh, except the electrodynamics part so these were the physics books that i referred might help you in clearing any of the entrance exams uh, so finally we come to the book that i used specifically for jam was it jam physics previous papers and practice test papers this i had bought just before jam when the jam exam was nearby <clears throat> and this was the only available book in the market there's nothing special about it when i went to the market and asked for any jam book they only had this so i bought this and i bought this so that i could see how the jam questions are and get an idea about the exam so they have previous questions and test papers so as you can see i had solved this 2015 paper they also have answers if you don't know how to solve so you also end up learning and find out which are the areas you need to focus on for this particular exam 2014 as you can see i have not solved this 2014 not even 2013 so i just solved 2015 paper so once you so it one paper is actually enough to for you to get the feel of how the exam is i think i solved few test papers so yeah i solved the test papers here test paper 1 test paper 2 so yeah test paper 4 so i basically solved one of the previous question papers and some test papers just to get an idea of how jam exam is so all these books eventually helped me clear jam exam and all the other exams what matters most is your basic concepts once your basic concepts even just for 11th and 12th you can score if you do it really good then you can score more than 50% of the jam questions and others help you solidify your advanced topics and theory in general so that's it for today if you like the video do comment below Thank <laughs> you.